or five to one in favor of Oakland and it was the news we kind of thought was coming but today made official that Prince Fielder will miss the rest of the season he is expected to have a season ending ending surgery sometime this week I asked John Daniels how he thought that would change the team's plans as they approach the trade deadline next week. Felt like uh, one of the strengths on the club was the offensive depth. Um, you know, we've seen Jerkson get more playing time. We called Delino up. He's done nicely. Uh, a lot of confidence in Arua. Um, you know, we can go to, to Joey uh, at some point if uh, there's a, an opening and they're at bats uh, and others you know, that we feel confident in. Um, so you know, we've been still been primarily focused on the pitching side, any moves that we may make. And obviously the production of Prince Fielder wasn't where he wanted it to be this season what he expected of himself or the team for that matter. But you have to think that and J.D. pretty much confirmed that it had been a nagging injury for Prince. He was not here today so he wasn't able to tell us you know when that neck pain started for him um, and how much it affected his play to this point in the season and you talk about the numbers and the production wasn't there but one thing that was guys and I think you can attest to this is Prince's presence in that clubhouse and the effect that he had uh, not only on the younger guys but on the veteran guys as well he's very much a part of the fabric of that clubhouse and even though you can't measure that and there are no numbers to quantify that it is a very real thing uh, inside that clubhouse and one that will be sorely missed because when you're not as you guys know in the lineup every day you don't tend to not be able to have that same effect uh, throughout the course of a season. Yeah good points Emily and that's true it, you know, I, I think that the Rangers uh, the Rangers players would be uh, would do well if they encourage Prince when whenever he can to come on in and be uh, be part of it.